Hey everybody and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to share rules in Salesforce Trailhead. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time in Salesforce, I want you to click the sign up option. And from here, just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go. Sharing rules in Salesforce are a way to extend record access to users who fall outside the role hierarchy. They allow you to make automatic exceptions to your organization-wide sharing settings for particular groups of users. Now, in Trailhead, the Salesforce learning platform, there are modules specifically designed to each sharing rules. All right. Now, for you to be able to do that, I want you to hover to the upper right corner and click the products of Salesforce. And this way, we need to understand that sharing rules lets you grant access to records based on criteria or by sharing them with specific groups of users. These are useful when you need to open up access beyond what is already granted through the organization-wide defaults or OWDs and the role hierarchy. Now, I want you to click the gear icon settings in the upper right corner and click on setup. And from here in the quick find search tab, type in sharing settings. You see that? Now, once you've done that, under the object where you want to create the sharing rule, you can choose from um, accounts, contacts, opportunities, leads, and a lot more. I'm going to choose the opportunity if you want. You see this going to be an option. You can check and mark all of these if you want to edit just click on the edits option here for example on the lead you can put a private only public read only or public read write so these are going to be your options you can grant access using hierarchies all right so i leave all of the discretion to you controlled by parent private public read only you see there's going to be a pop-up window wherein opportunity access must be private when the account access is set to private so you have all this under your disposal all right you also have the option for standard report visibility manual user record sharing manager groups and require permission to view record names in lookup fields once you are happy with this all you have to do is click on save now the trailhead provides hands-on challenges to practice these steps helping you overcome and become comfortable with configuring and managing sharing rules in Salesforce. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next video.